and look around you. 60 Mile Men are the men you see every day. We are young and we are old. We are in shape and we are not so in shape. Don't run this shape. So we are healthy and unhealthy. We are victims of cancer and we are survivors. We are the fathers and husbands, brothers and sons of those who have battled cancer. We are the men you see every day. We participate in the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Three Day for our mothers and wives, for our sisters, for our aunts and girlfriends and daughters, our wives-to-be, our fathers and brothers, our family and friends. In the past, we have participated with 16-year-old walkers and 90-year-old walkers. We have participated with healthy walkers and walkers still bald from their chemo. We have participated with walkers who complete 10 miles ecstatic with their accomplishments, hop on the bus and go back to camp. And we have participated with walkers who will hobble 100 steps, stop, wait for the pain to go away, just to hobble another 100 steps, and they do it for miles at a time. We have participated with walkers too tired or sick or injured to make it to camp, only to see them leave the next day if we get another 20 mile journey. We have laughed with the walkers and we have cried with them. Walkers are volunteers. Crew are volunteers. They made a choice. Those battling cancer cannot stop, and neither could the amazing participants of the three-day. We are the men you see every day. But there is something that makes us unique, and that is our commitment to bring about a special world. Ladies and gentlemen, the 60 Mile Men believe in a world without breast cancer. We are the men you see every day. My name is Matthew Pickus. I'm president of the nonprofit 60 Mile Men Corporation, and I welcome you to the fifth annual 60 Mile Men Calendar Unveiling. We're dedicated to the fight against breast cancer and support of the Coleman Breast Cancer Three Day. Each of the 60 Mile Men are selected for their fight for the cure, for their dedication to the fight for a cure, and their love of the Three Day. Each man knows the empowerment and healing effects the event provides, and they pay it forward year after year after year. This evening, it is our pleasure to introduce to you the latest class of 12 60 mile men because, as we all know, once again, real men wear pink or nothing, nothing at all. all. Before you meet the brave men, a few people that need our thanks for the work they do year after year. Our board member, Jeremy King, and Greg Pyrrhon. We also need to thank Kathy Lozer of Wagner Design for a website, herself a three-day walker. White Pine Printers for printing up the calendars. Banners Plus for our sashes, because frankly, without which, we wouldn't look so good. <laughs> and we need to thank the staff here at the Box Bar, who so quickly provided us with a great location and hopefully the new home for our annual presentation. And for all of us, yep. For all of us who do the Michigan Three Day, we know there is no place like Plymouth. I will let you know that that cheering station is talked about nationwide. It is an incredible thing. We also need to thank all the photographers who have taken their time and donated their time for the, uh, for the calendar, as well as one special photographer, Mark Bach, who has photographed over half of the guys and our designer, Gene Jones, the graphics, the layout, the images, the logo, the entire design of the calendar would, not, calendar would not be possible without Gene Jones' time. We also want to thank our apparel supplier, Jen Frederick of Firebranded Apparel. Our website, we've been asked about it. You can find the t-shirts and sweatshirts. You can find everything you need to tell the world that you or someone you love is a 60-mile man, or woman, or son, or daughter. We have more relationships online. We also recommend, if you're going to do the event, one of these two logos. <laughs> and of course, as we all know, real men wear pink, or we're not nothing at all. Also, for those doing the event, we'll get you your wicking material, no 90 degree humid days, in hot cotton. And we'll even put your team logo on our gear. Six Mile Man Apparel is the next best thing to being naked. <laughs> So, about the calendar, the calendar introduces you to each one of the 12 60-mile men. 
It'll tell you about the guys, the events they've done, who they are, and the reason each man participates. So in each calendar, we also pay tribute to the guys who have come before us. The 2008 men, who's here tonight from 2008? These brave fellows have no idea what they're coming. 2009. Thank you, And I'll show you the 2010 gentlemen. We've got a few of them. Some will come all the way from Philadelphia for this event. And the 2011 guys from last year. This is of So now, it is my great honor to begin to introduce to you the brave men from the 2012 60 Mile Men calendar, which brings us to the total of 60 60 Mile Men. This is an amazing picture. While it may be warm outside, we start off playing with the snow with our Mr. January here from Minnesota. Let's say hi to Nathan. When he's not working, he enjoys golfing, cooking, sharing a great beer with friends like he's doing tonight. <laughs> he walks in honor of his mother who he lost in 2006, and so every son can dance with his wedding on his on, dance with his mother on his wedding day. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan. <laughs> our Mr. February is from our own Michigan Three Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom. <laughs> with his wife and daughters, three daughters. Tom enjoys cooking, sports car racing, music, and playing some poker. Tom will do whatever it takes to ensure that no woman, especially his wife or his daughters, ever has to face this disease. And to raise awareness that, guys, we too can develop breast cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom. <laughs> Mr. March, let's just say that March enjoys ice hockey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you Don. <laughs> As an ambassador for the National Organization Men Against Breast Cancer, Don raises awareness and, uh, and supports the caregivers and loved ones of those battling cancer. When not supporting the cause, Don hangs out with his two sons and coaches, coaches their baseball teams in Oregon this weekend doing just that. Ladies and gentlemen, Don. Our Mr. April comes from deep down in Phoenix, and he enjoys sailing in San Diego. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah. Jeff loves his family and his friends, and he enjoys sports, sports, and more sports. He lost his mother when he was two years old, and he's been involved in the fight ever since. He's a member of Team Wish, which down in Phoenix is a million dollar team. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey. While we've got a wonderful establishment here for those who need a drink, I recommend you talk to our Mr. May, Rob. <laughs> Floridian. He owns his own company and he enjoys micro brewery beers, golf hunting, and spending time with his family. He watched her, the woman he never had a chance to know, his future mother-in-law, who lost her fight with Beth breast cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob. Mr. June comes from Cleveland, and you'll find him out doing everything he can to enjoy life. Our Mr. June is Ed. for his wife, Tara, and after his first event, he knew he was part of something much bigger, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the three-day community. He watched for the entire community and knows that each day with his wife is special. 
ladies and gentlemen, both Ed and Tara. Our Mr. August will be quite familiar to many from Michigan and Cleveland three days. Ladies and gentlemen, commonly known as Stinky, here's Russ. I apologize, we skipped. Philadelphia's Mr. July is Rick. I apologize. I skipped ahead, I was so excited by Ed. Rick is an IT guy that likes saltwater fishing, bowling, and of course, poker. He walks in memory of his wife, Brenda, and honors her courage and determination. He also walks so that his daughters and all daughters won't have to fight the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, no offense intended, here's Rick. <laughs> and now, for those who remember, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Stinky. <laughs> there we are. Milemen.org. 
you can follow the adventures of all these crazy guys on our Facebook page. By any means necessary, financially, emotionally, and yes, ladies, even physically sometimes, the 60 Mile Men will care for the three-day participants. These men, past, present, and future, enhance the three-day experience with our laughter, our tears, and hopefully even our nudity. <laughs> Now is the time when we ask you to help us help others. You can find the calendars and the apparel items on the website. We have all five years of the calendars here. The guys here will be happy to sign them all. Please give them to your friends and family. Take them to work. Take them to your doctor's office. They make great holiday gifts. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while the 60 Mile Men calendar is certainly fun and it's off the wall, it is done for a single purpose and the importance of our battle against cancer and all cancers has been brought home to the 60 Mile Men very recently. Unfortunately, one of our own is currently battling the disease. Walter Dillaway, Mr. March 2008, a medical crew member on the Michigan Three Days since 2002, is currently in the hospital. For the last two years, Walter's actually been on the event while he's been on chemo. So if you would, please keep Walter and Mrs. March Sharon in your thoughts. We have a card here for you to sign on your way if you would tonight. We can never forget, cancer does not discriminate, young or old, male or female. There are 200,000 new cases of breast cancer everywhere, every year in the United States. 1% of them are males. 40,000 will die each year from breast cancer. And each year, there are millions of diagnoses and losses from all types of cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, we fight for a time when the only reason you need to go to a bar to see half-naked people <laughs> is to put dollar bills in their G-string. <laughs> Help us bring that world a little closer. The 60 Mile Men, we go the distance against breast cancer because everyone deserves a lifetime. And real men wear pink. We're or not pink at all. We are the men you see every day. So from the 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, and now 2012 class of 60 Mile Men, from the 60, 60 Mile Men, thank you.